Well, it's fantastic. Welcome to Spastastic TV. Um, today I'm going to be looking at this uh, shit out of luck. I mean, the Survive Outdoors Longer uh, um, Trouse Kit Scout thing that I think I bought at Target for like, I have no fucking idea how much I paid for this. But anyhow, it's another one of these little survival kits that I can sit and bitch about for about 10 minutes. So, uh, you know how I don't like to do unboxings on this channel? Um, kind of what this is. But uh, anyhow, let's uh, jump cut to uh, putting everything on the TV dinner tray and uh, me trying to not have a bunch of garbage in frame because my studio is a fucking disaster. So uh, jump cut. All right, now it's time for me to talk really quiet because if not, I'm going to be deep throwing the microphone. <laughs> All right, so here we got the Survive Outdoors Longer Scout Truce Kit or Trouse Kit or whatever the fuck comes with many things in it. So the first things first, I'm going to totally ignore the little packaging on the back of it and then want to kill myself because it has a goddamn zip tie on it because they think people are thieves. Forward thinking, actually. Oh, so the first things first, obviously it comes with its uh, what it claims to be a waterproof sack. Apparently if you fold it over, it suddenly becomes waterproof. I'd say water resistant. Probably ought to hold the thing in frame because I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, I've got to control my, my voice. Get out of the bag. Can't do it. Let's pull everything out of the bag. It has an instructions for uh, the signal mirror that's in it. So anyhow, um, as we grab the signal mirror that uh, doesn't have a goddamn key, key ring on it. Let's see if I can get it just right. Okay, so if you've ever actually used a signal mirror, they're pretty simple to use. Um, when you look through the little center bit right here, like let's say the sun was shining at you, and you're trying to get a camera, you're trying to get, or trying to get a freaking uh, airplane, sun shining in this way. You aim this up towards like an airplane or helicopter or vehicle about 30 miles away, and you can see these pretty good. I might actually probably ought to do a demonstration of with that in uh, the future because uh, signal mirrors are amazing. Actually, it's probably a pretty good thing to actually carry or carry on you if you're ever out and about, even if it is made in vagina. Um, so yeah, that's uh, it's got a signal mirror in it. Instructions for the signal mirror that I don't need. It's got a slim rescue howler. So here goes your ear drones. <whistles> that wasn't obnoxious enough. Hopefully I didn't wake anybody up in my house. One of these uh, half a lighters. Actually flames up pretty good. Comes with little fire starter things. So four little quick start fire things. So if you, you know, didn't just waste this entire goddamn little stick of garbage. I, I hate these things. Give me a match, give me a lighter, give me a flint and fucking steel, give me a pocket knife, maybe. Probably be a good idea. Um, I will actually test that right at the end of the video. Um, you get some duct tape, which uh, everybody knows that's the handyman's secret weapon. Um, it looks like it has a little plastic tube in the middle of it. That could come in handy, actually, believe it or not. Um, it's got one of these, this is like the most Spartan button compass whatsoever. Now, here's the ridiculous thing is that I am actually holding this, kind of looking at it upside down. Um, it's pointing roughly north. I hate these things because if all of a sudden I like was to manipulate it around, oh, hey, look, it's not pointing north. And this one actually seems to work a little better than most of them, if I hold it in frame. Um, I really don't like these. I really prefer it with, uh, well, give me a jump cut. I'll actually show you what I think is a way better design of compass. Let's throw that back down and see if it points in the right thing. This style of compass, a little ball compass that you can move around and stuff, and then it'll actually just, you know, usually point to where you want it to point. And since there isn't so many goddamn hard drive magnets in my goddamn uh, garage anymore, it actually points to magnetic north as opposed to pointing towards my garage. That, that was an actual thing for a while, surprisingly. Um, that doesn't really have anything to do with the video. That's just, I think these are better compasses than these cheapo little crappy button compasses that almost never work. Um, Anybody that's actually, they come on everything, so you people know what I'm talking about. And this is the one thing that I was kind of curious about, because it's uh, Less Survive and Plan Nature Survival Bag. I think it's just a, I think it's a survival sleeping bag. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a survival sleeping bag as opposed to just a blanket. Um, these things generally have like lead in them too just to let you know if you ever use a survival blanket for anything you probably want to wash your hands after but if you're in a survival situation you can deal with a little bit of lead poisoning it really only affects the children's now the fishing kit i'm actually going to probably end up complaining about this too but it looks like it has some safety pins in it those can always come in handy a sewing needle whatever uh, it has some barrel swivels 
safety pins, which actually appear to be decent of decent quality. If I don't always put my hands in front of the damn thing, they don't come open, so they're they're, they're safe. Um, but anyhow, there's another freaking sewing needle. You get a very Spartan amount of line that looks to be about maybe two pound test, two four pound test. Um, some swivels and some hooks, and which, uh, if it comes over on camera, go into macro mode, please. Trickle information's right there. Is that they're actually shiny hooks. If I, I was actually going to put together a little fishing kit like this, other than using what looked to be uh, ten split shots, maybe. I don't know what they make the other ones out of. I live in Utah. We're allowed to use freaking lead here. But uh, the fact that the, sh the hooks are at least like plated with uh, nickel, it looks like. Um, is a good thing because uh, if you don't have any bait having a shiny hook can sometimes get fish although I would probably use smaller gold salmon egg hooks if I was ever to put something like that together but uh, this right here I hate these literally give me some cotton twine and a flint and steel and a fucking pocket knife that's what I want I want a fucking pocket knife and a flint and steel. That's the one thing though, is like when it comes to little survival kits like this, I mean like you gotta know what you're doing to really use them effectively. Like okay, safety pins, they can come in handy. You rip your you rip your short you rip your shorts, you can freaking put them back together with that. I guess this I, I guess the idea with the friggin' needles is and the fishing line is that if you ripped your shorts, you could uh, sew them back up if you ran out of safety pins to killed your shorts up. Um the barrel swivels make no sense because I would literally just tie the hooks onto the line. Sinkers make no sense because if you ain't got no bait and uh, you don't have anything in your kit to, you know, like maybe gut a fish, like a knife. One of those useful things um, kind of makes the rest of the kit useless. Pretty much the only real useful things in here, I would honestly say, it, this is this is probably useful. I'm going to, we'll, we'll check these out here in a minute. Is the survival blanket, signal mirror, whistle, compass, and duct tape. And I guess you could use some of this stuff. I mean, like, it, it is all useful, but calling a couple of hooks, a barrel swivel, and some crap split shots, and uh, some somewhat shiny hooks, which I'll give them credit for the shiny hooks, and calling this non sealable bag a waterproof bag, which it is literally, it literally says it's a waterproof bag. It's made in Indonesia. I, I don't understand some of the things because it's like they're just like always half done but anyhow let's go see how well these little fire lighters work which um due to the wonders of editing since i'm, I'm recording this at about 11 30 at night um i'm gonna do in the morning all right pardon all the noise and everything because apparently my neighbors wait till the freaking sunrise to uh make as much noise as humanly possible and my neighborhood's actually generally loud pretty anyway because i live pretty close to uh the freeway but anyhow what i got right here is the little fire the little little tinder things um which i'm pretty sure they're cotton i'm pretty sure when you pull these out you're supposed to like fluff them out a little bit um keep in mind it's also like 45 degrees out here so uh I, I don't know if I'm doing this right. If I'm uh, not, feel free to call me an idiot in the freaking uh, comment section. Okay, so we got that kind of fluffed out. And then right in the center of the camera. Don't put my big ass hands in the way. And let's, uh... Whoa, that actually lit pretty damn fast, actually. Which is nice, I suppose. Holy crap, that's burning real good. I'll take that back. I was not expecting that to work on the first try. I guess these little these little fire starters work pretty good. Hold them as close as possible. Um, so I guess that's not all that bad. Still would rather have like a book of matches or a lighter. Because these things are pretty cheap. Hopefully you can hear what I'm saying over the freeway noise and birds chirping. Thank God there's no kids screaming. Alright, so that was the shit out of luck freaking survival kit. Of where, uh, well... I always complain about these things. I really don't like them because uh, I'm willing to bet that I would actually have had a really hard time starting a fire if I didn't have those little fire starter things for the kit. And, uh, and for the vast majority of the kit, I mean, like the average person would have would be almost lost in how to use it. I mean, you know, obviously they'd understand the button compass that they'd have to sit there and fuck around with in order to get it to actually point the direction they want that it's supposed to point. 
which if you have no sense of direction isn't really that ideal. Signal mirror, um, you could explain to somebody how to use a signal mirror in about two seconds. If my studio lights were brighter, I could really demonstrate that, but yeah, all you do is you look at you, you look at the thing and then you aim it at what you want the freaking uh, thing to go through with the little thing in the center. And you know, yeah, you look at that. Um, but other than that, the one thing in here that looks like it was the nicest thing in here is this like little survival sleeping bag thing because it is an actual light. It's like folded over. Um, and as I said, these things do contain lead, so that's something to consider. But if you're gonna, if you're, but if you're fucked and out in the middle of nowhere and you're about to freeze to death, I mean, it's better than. I'd rather have a little bit of lead poisoning than you know, be dead. But yeah, no, I mean, like when it comes to like survival kits like that, the biggest problem I have with them is that they always missing things. You gotta have like an expert knowledge of how to use them or be really ingenious in how to do it. Um, and uh, I, I mean, like. It has so it has a couple of nice things in it. You might you might you might like what you've seen in it. And, you know, if that's the case, I think they're like fifteen bucks. You can pick them up at Target. Um, I mean, like I don't really have a use for them because really, just like a good pocket knife and a fire and a flint and steel is more than enough to what you need. Um, but of course, that also comes with you kind of need to be an expert and know how to use it. Like because that's I mean, like it's one of those things. I mean, like Man vs Wild isn't probably the best for the best freaking survival show to watch on the planet if you want to learn how to survive. But you know. You could do a lot with a knife and a and a flint and a freaking a little flint fucking thing. Um, actually, a lot easier to start fires with than that, or you get a magnesium block instead of that. But yeah, that's the SOL uh, shit out of luck, or the survive outdoors longer um, survival kit, uh, trouse kit, scout thing, and a jigger or whatever. And uh, I'm spastastic. Uh, hopefully, this video was uh, somewhat coherent and uh, you enjoyed what you've seen. If you do, well, like and subscribe. If uh, you really feel like it, you can go over to Twitter and see all my replies to uh, qu uh, to interesting people. Um, so yeah, I'm Spastastic. Thank you for watching. Some musical play you out. <laughs>